Hello, my dear viewer. Welcome to my review for the menu. God, I need, hang on, I need my glasses for this one. <laughs> the menu focuses on a young couple who visits an exclusive destination restaurant on a remote island where the acclaimed chef has prepared a lavish tasting menu along with some shocking surprises. Okay, I'm not gonna be doing this this entire review. This was, this was, this is, don't get me wrong, this is fun. But, no, no, this is not the look, Chief. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't it, Chief. I, I was gonna do this the entire time just for the bit, but this ain't, this ain't it, this ain't it. Hang on, let me just transform. Whoa! Okay. This movie is good. I went to it without watching any trailers, and my only prior knowledge was the premise and the fact that Anya Taylor Joy was in it. Uh, I gotta say, this movie really surprised me. Uh, I went. I was expecting a more serious tone, but the dark humor really works well here. Uh, there are a lot of jokes that genuinely made me laugh, and they land so well. Like there's a joke. Uh, there's a, oh, actually this is a whole bit. I'm going to be spoiling the movie, by the way, like a, a tiny bit of it. But there are, like, title cards throughout the movie that, like, uh, have the food on them. Uh, one, they start out serious, but then one says Tyler's bullshit, which was really funny. And the last one, the s'mores one, was also really funny and got a laugh out of me because the ingredients read uh, staff, restaurant, uh, island. And that was genuinely funny to me that they added that in. Uh, the cast here is phenomenal. You got people like uh, I think it's Rafe Rafe Fiennes. I, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but he played Voldemort in the Harry Potter series, which was really interesting to learn. Uh, he absolutely chews the scenery every time he appears on screen. And Nicholas Holt, who plays the most insufferable character that I've ever seen in the movie in a movie. He does a phenomenal job in this. Uh, I'm, of course, talking about Tyler, who really reminds me of the people that praise Andrew Tate. And the way he talks about Rafe's character is exactly how these people sound. Like, there's one point in the movie where he's like, uh, he pre he's pretty much praising him like a god. Like, pretty much, and it's so annoying throughout the whole movie that it's genuinely a feel good moment where he gets his comeuppance. Where, uh, I don't even know. Uh, the chef, uh, the chef, pretty much embarrasses uh, Tyler and makes a fool of himself, and that genuinely got a laugh out of me because I, I thought Tyler was one of the best and one of the worst parts of this movie. Uh, good job on Nicholas Holt's part. I'm not really familiar with his other work, but I definitely keep an eye on him when uh, and what he does next. Speaking of Rafe's character, he is someone I genuinely enjoyed every time he was on screen. Every scene he where he was talking, my eyes were just glued. Because he really knows how to keep, keep the viewer's attention and has a very good speaking voice. Unlike me, where mine is fucking raspy as hell. Uh, I also just really like his character. He's a guy who knows he's psycho, but doesn't care. Hell, when he gives reasons as to why they're there, most of them were pretty petty. Like, for John Leguizamo's character, he invited him to the restaurant simply because he was in a movie that he didn't like. It's such a petty reason that it got a laugh out of me. But there's also this sense of humanity in him that really intrigued me. He seems to not find pity in uh, the rest of the rich people, but finds pity in Anya Taylor-Joy's character, and his chemistry with her is really great. I'm going to spoil, like, a... Not, it's not, like, a major part of the movie, but it kind of reveals why... He's like this, but it's the same. It's a scene where him and Anya, or Anya, I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, him and Anya talk to each other in his office. Was it, it's such a good scene. The fact he opened, he opens up to her a little bit about how he doesn't like his work being tainted is so good. And the fact he spares her because she wasn't technically supposed to be there shows that he does have a heart and that he wasn't taught, willing to take an innocent life. Because he didn't, because she never wronged him. I guess I, I'm gonna be completely honest. This is like a first, like a first watch review. And going back to John Leguizamo's character, can I just say that I'm really glad to see him making a comeback. 
in these past years. He's not only in one of the biggest movies in 2021, but he's also the main bad guy in one of the best action movies that has came out that has come out in the last few months. I'm talking about Violent Night, where he played the the main villain. He was also really good in that one, and uh, now he's in this movie. I'm proud of him. I hope he does more work because I genuinely love seeing him. Whether it's a good movie, whether it's a bad movie, whether it's an animated movie, I just want to see more Legazamo, man. Moving on, can I just say, this movie has such a good score. It's a movie that consists of piano music, and not really, licensed, there's not like not a single hint of uh, licensed music, which is really good because um, if, if there was at least one song from a popular artist, this movie would not have worked as well as it did. And I was surprised to find out that Adam, not Adam Sandler, uh, Will Ferrell and Adam McKay produced this and those are two genuinely funny guys that I love watching they uh, made Step Brothers together and I was like god damn they made one of one of the best and one of the worst comedy movies of Will Ferrell's career uh, I I genuinely don't like Step Brothers because the same habits eh but anyway my final thoughts are the menu is a fun movie that doesn't overstay its welcome the cast is phenomenal cinematography is fantastic and it is just a great surprise. Uh, I highly suggest you don't go into this movie watching any of the trailers because they spoil the hell out of this movie. Like, they need to stop making trailers two minutes. Sorry, I'm spitting everywhere. I'm so excited. They need to stop making trailers two minutes because they're pretty much spoiling the entire movie. And uh, there's a movie I'm going to be watching tomorrow that won't be there won't be a review till this weekend. Uh, but Thregan, otherwise known as Megan, uh, I'm excited to see what that is all about but I'm going to give the menu a very strong 8 out of 10 uh, if you like the video please click the like button subscribe if you're new and uh, please watch my other videos my channel has been getting uh, copyright claim to hell but I'm still pumping out videos I got a new reaction out uh, Scream 4 please watch that I got a new fan film reaction coming out uh, in a couple weeks as soon as I get that edited and done but uh, I also have the Last of Us series review that you can uh, go to the playlist in the link in the description below. First link. I also have my socials, my Twitter at Zachary Roisman eight. Uh, yes, I have eight. I had eight accounts and they all got banned. Hopefully, hopefully this one doesn't. I also have a letterbox uh, Zachary Roseman, where I put movie reviews to movies that I won't really watch or of uh, movies that I've already seen. And other than that, I'm going to get going. Thank you for watching, uh, and see you for The Last of Us, Episode 5.